Hello everyone. Welcome to the IoT section of Controllers Tech. Today in this video, we will see how to use STM32 to log data to the ThingSpeak server using ESP8266. Let's first start by creating the project in Cube IDE. I am using Nucleo 446RE for this project. Give some name, and click finish. Here is our cube MX. First I am selecting external crystal for the clock. Next, I am selecting an ADC, which will be used to read the potentiometer data. Changing the resolution to 10 bits. Even if you don't enable continuous conversion, it should be fine. Because I am going to use the poll for conversion method, so continuous conversion is not required. Leave everything else to default. Now, enable the UART with interrupt. This is where the ESP8266 will be connected. Let's set up the clock now. I have 8 MHz crystal, and I want the system to run at maximum frequency. Click save to generate the project. Let's include the libraries first. I am going to use the ring buffer library, and data logger library. Put the source and the header files in the respective folders. Click refresh and you can see the files here in our project. Let's take a look at the ringbuffer.c file. Here you can change the UART that you are using. Copy this function from here, and paste it in the interrupt.c file. Also we need to modify our UART handler and comment out the original one. Let's take a look at the data logger.c file now. ESP init takes the SSID and password as the parameter. ESP send data sends the data to a particular filed label. The parameters are self explanatory here. Here you have to give the label of the field, such as either 1, or 2, or 3, etc. This is the one I am going to use. It sends data to multiple fields at once. Let's first go to the thing speak. Register yourself or log in. Click on channels. Then click new channel. Give some name to this channel. I am going to use four fields in this channel. We can modify these names also. I will quickly modify others too. You can see the modified names. Remember that field label number is the one that we need while sending data. Let's start. 
include the data logger.h. I will write a function to get the ADC value. This includes start ADC, poll for conversion, get the value, and stop ADC. Let's define the variables that we are going to use. Also a buffer to store the four values. Inside the main function, first of all initialize the ESB, with the SSID and password. Now in the while loop, we will get the value of ADC. Then convert this value to the voltage. And at last increment the count variable. Now we will store these values in the respective position in value buffer. and send these values to the sever. Now here we need the API key. Go to your channel, click API key, and copyright API key. I have four number of fields, so enter four here. And pass the value buffer. Give a delay of 15 seconds minimum. ThingSpeak server will not update the data, if we send it within 15 seconds. Let's build and debug our program. I am adding the variables in the live expression. Let's run it now. You can see the first entry in the thing speak. Now I am rotating the potentiometer, so the ADC value will change. You can see the new entries now. Also note the values of count, and count times 2. Everything is as par with the values we have in the live expression. This data will keep updating every 15 seconds. This is it for the video guys. This program uses the AT commands, so any ESP module that supports AT commands will work. You can download the code from the link in the description. Be safe, and have a nice day.